you will just run this configuration this will get uploaded okay now let me go to things pick now i'll just restart my board i'll remove the usb cable and connect it back let me open putty and open my node configuration connecting to network and this is the network configuration this is the ip of the node mcu and i am posting the data temperature is 26 humidity is 63 and vibration status is 0 and this is the response that we got so i just want to check like whether my response is proper or not whether my pinging is proper or not so let me see over the things speak channel still now i did not get any data uh, one second let me check whether the key that i used is proper or not this is 3p on c control c yeah it's not proper so it should be the same key then only you'll be able to see data now let me flash it again it's already in use it's actually posting data but on thingspeak you'll not be seeing it because the api key is not present let me open the thing now connecting to network and this posting the data let me go to private view and see it is there any data available not yet yeah i see some sample one sample has come my temperature is 27 humidity is 61 vibration is zero now let me keep on vibrating my temperature uh, with my breadboard so that my vibration status will be one my vibration status is five because it's like over a temper over a time of five seconds how much times it's vibrated it keeps on incrementing it my vibration status is seven so five is already sent seven has gone let me try to increase my temperature to some i'll put it near to my processor fan let me see whether it will increase or not this will take a little bit time you know that temperature and humidity and, uh, sensor is quite uh, slowly responsive i'm just vibrating my dead sensor you can see the update of data temperature is not changing because even if you see here still 27 my humidity has did not change it's still 61 let me heat it let me put it under process fan or i have to put it in a refrigerator and come back let it happen i just want to see one single data changing now the temperature has increased to 28 let me see whether it will be updated or not yes temperature updated in the same way humidity will also be updated i think this explains you properly don't worry about the code the code is a small thing you just have to do the connection send the data as per the request this is the packet format which is already prescribed by things speak so i'm not doing any change in that so this is the way we have to communicate to things speak there is no other way this is a way we uh, communicate using the http protocol there is one more way called mqtt which is a lightweight version specially made for internet of things applications now in our coming lecture we'll see uh, one more broker called adafruit io which is a popular one to which we'll send the data it's much more uh, intuitive way we can use um, applications like gauges meters even in thingspeak also you can do that but it's not that user friendly so i wouldn't go for it anyways i will explain that in uh, adafruit thanks for watching thank you